This AI can colorize and restore old black and white images and even film footage. This method is called Deoldify and works on pretty much any picture. If you don't believe me, you can even try it yourself for free as I will show in the video. But first, let's see how it works and more amazing results to convince you to try it. This is What's AI and I share artificial intelligence news every week. If you are new to the channel and want to stay up to date, please consider subscribing to not miss any further news. Deoldify is a technique to colorize and restore old black and white images or even film footage. It was developed and is still getting updated by only one person, Jason Antic. It is now the state of the art way to colorize black and white images and everything is open sourced. But we will get back to this in a bit. First, let's see how he achieved that. It uses a new type of GAN training method called NoGAN that he developed himself to solve the main problems that appeared when training using a normal adversarial network architecture composed of a discriminator and a generator. Typically, GAN training works by both training the discriminator and generator at the same time where the generator starts by being completely random and improves over time to fool the discriminator, which tries to tell if the image is generated or real. If this was just completely abstract to you, I invite you to watch the video I made about GANs in the upper right corner right now and linked in the description before continuing this video. His new method, which he calls the NoGAN, provides the same benefits of this usual GAN training while having to spend way less time training the GAN architecture, which is typically pretty heavy in computation time. Instead, he pre-trains the generator to make it already more powerful, fast and reliable, using a regular loss function. This is done by training the generator like a regular deep networks architecture, such as ResNet. That way, the model is already pretty good at colorizing an image before training the complete GAN architecture. Then, it only needs a short amount of this typical generator discriminator GAN training to optimize the realism of the generated pictures. Gaussian noise is also randomly applied to images to generate fake noise during training. This is a type of data augmentation that can be performed on the training images to improve the results and resistance to noisy inputs, using the same technique as style transfer where the noise will be the style of the image we want to copy and can be applied more or less to the transformation. The whole architecture uses a basic ResNet backbone on a UNet, where the generator network in the GAN training is the UNet architecture. Right now, there is no complete explanation of how this works, but the author is currently working on a paper about Deoldify, where he will further investigate why and how his technique previously found only by trials and errors work. You can find three things in the description of the video. At first, there's the GitHub link, with a complete detailed explanation of the technique and even Google Collab tutorials to use it yourself. Just look at how simple this is. You can just run the few sections, enter the link of your image and run it. Then, you can find a free API on DeepAI using Deoldify, where you can simply click and try yourself. Finally, the third link is the most advanced version of Deoldify if you are looking for the best results. It is on MyHeritage's website and is paid to use. Let's just take a minute to see how it works on old movies before ending this video. Jack, we can get along without dragging those young kids up here. Oh, why don't you button up your lips? 
You're always squawking about something. You got more static than the radio. Please leave a like if you went this far in the video. And since there are over 90% of you guys watching that are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing to the channel to not miss any further news clearly explained. Thank you for watching.